So you may be wondering, why is the Cobra up on the quick jacks again? Why are all the wheels and tires off it? Why are there new tires here? And what does any of this have to do with the video title? Well, the good news is I do have some answers for all that. When I first went down to Virginia to check this car out, it did have some pretty bad wheel hop. And I associated that with the fact that the roads were cold down there, it wasn't going to get good traction. I brought the car back up here, had it, had it shipped, and the weather improved enough so I could take it out a few times, as you've guys seen from a couple videos. Those times that I took it out, it had terrible wheel hop and there was no traction at all. And I fully understand, me more than a lot of people who don't live in this kind of environment, that the roads are really cold, you're not going to get good traction. But I couldn't get it out of my head for why was I getting such bad wheel hop. With this having an IRS bushing kit from FTBR and the fact that I just greased the entire thing and I shouldn't be getting wheel hop with it regardless of the roads being cold. I get the traction par but it shouldn't have been hopping like it was so I kept thinking there's got to be something else going on. So I was sitting one night just on the couch watching TV and out of nowhere something just hit me and said go out to the car and check the date code on the tires just for the hell of it. So I came out and I'm going to show you guys what I found. Those of you that did see the paint correction and ceramic coating video, I said I was going to get some outside picture somewhere in some outside video. Well, this is what happened right after I finished doing that ceramic coating and paint correction on the car. We got a bunch of snow, so I haven't taken the car out since doing all of that. But as soon as I can get the car out again, hopefully in a couple weeks, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'll get some good outside video and outside photos of some nice backdrops and stuff like that. This as a quick uh, FYI for those of you that may not know, uh, tires come with date codes on them, four numbers on the side of all the sidewalls. This is 3813. The first two numbers indicate the week the tires were made and the last number, the last two numbers indicate the year. So, as you can see, these front tires, the Continental Extreme Contacts, were made in 2013. But wait, there's more. Now these are the rear tires, the 295s. These are 5312. <laughs> and you may be wondering, yes, there's 52 weeks in a year, and this says 53. I don't know why, but for some reason, all the tire manufacturers start with 01 and end with 53. I can't, I don't know why, maybe they all don't do it, but at least Continental does. So that's just how it is, but these are 2012. So as you can see, I'm dealing with some very, very old tires from way back in 2012 and 13. These tires are 12 and 11 years old. And I think that has a lot to do with why I'm getting such bad wheel hop and why there's zero traction despite it being cold. I've heard a lot of good things about those Continental Extreme Contacts and they supposedly hook really well, which I don't doubt at all, but I had my reservations. I was like, these really aren't that good. Even though the roads are really cold, I am going to give them that. But then when you throw in the fact that they're 11, 12 years old, well, the rear ones being 12, Obviously, they're not going to have any traction. I'm sure all the oils and everything that make the tires nice and soft and sticky are long gone out of those tires. So, that brings up what are these that are going on? These are some Nitto G2s that I had for the Fox Body project. I sold off a lot of stuff on that car when I got rid of it. And I had these on Marketplace for a long time. I had the pair at $300 for the pair. And people still kept lowballing me. And I'm like, I will let, put these in my basement and let them rot before I sell them to you for $200. So that's basically where I was with it. I was sticking them in the basement and I was just going to leave them there. Then I bought this Cobra and I'm like, hey, this had, these wheels on the car had eight, are 18s and these are 18 tires. So it was a no-brainer at that point, so I will use these at some point when I need new front tires. I just didn't think it was going to be that soon. So now the other question is, what are the rear tires? I picked up a pair of Nitto NT555Rs. They're the Nitto drag radials, basically. And these are, let me get some better lighting up here. 
These are 285, 40, 18s. And these will be going on the rear 10, uh, 18 by 10 wheels on the back. I got these from a good friend of mine. They're slightly, slightly used. They have a few hundred-ish miles on them, not a whole lot. But he took them off his Mustang to put a different set of tires on, and I grabbed these ones from him. I'd been over previously, and I said, before you sell these, uh, let me know just in case I want to buy them, because I wasn't sure how long the uh, current Continentals were going to last, and I didn't know that the day code on them was so old at the time. So just like with the Nitto G2s, I didn't think I'd be buying these tires from him as soon either because he really didn't have them for sale, but he wasn't going to use them. And I said, just hold on to them. I may need them at some point if the Continentals wear out soon or something like that. And it turned out they were crap. And speaking of the Continentals, I've had these tires off a few times since I've had the car. You guys knew that I had the, the Celine wheel repaired, which was this wheel right here. And if you look at the tread on here they're not weather cracked they're not you know there's nothing wrong with this tread pattern there's nothing wrong with the tire you know it's wearing pretty well nothing alarming with these tires so when i had the wheel off before and i looked at the tires you know i thought these were you know really good shape you know these look fine on the outside but the looks don't tell the whole story because they were obviously bad and being as old as they are, they just don't have, I mean, there is like, this tread is so hard. These are basically, basically like riding on plastic. There is no give to this tread at all. I know it's aired up and it's, you know, on the wheel and all that stuff, but even compared to these, I mean, you can press your fingernail into the tread on these. It's a lot different than the Continentals and it should make a huge difference. Those, um, these nittos are going to give me all the grip that I really need, uh, regardless of you know what I do with this car mod-wise. It should grip really well with these. So unfortunately, I do have to make two trips to the tire place and bring in these two. Uh, two-door Bronco problems, like I said in another video, uh, there's not a lot of room in the two-door Bronco to fit a lot of stuff in there. So I can only fit either the four new tires or the old set at once. There's no room to fit everything. Luckily, the place I'm bringing them to is not that far away. It's only 10 minutes from where I live. So I need to do two trips, and then I'm gonna come back and bring the other set in. And then once that's all done, and I get the uh, wheels back with the new tires mounted on, um, we'll take a look at them, see how everything looks, put them on the car, and hopefully uh, <laughs> a few weeks from now, I can actually start driving it again, because right now, it's definitely not gonna happen. Before I forget, I did replace the hood struts on this a while ago. I didn't mention it in the video where I said I fixed some stuff on it. That was one of the things I did and I forgot to mention it in the video, but 
you remember before when I first got the car, the hood shots wouldn't work, the hood wouldn't stay up, so I had to use the, the prop rod from my last Cobra and the old hood struts to keep it up. <laughs> but uh, new MRT struts are now, so hood's all good for now. So I decided that I really don't want to take these wheels off anymore between fixing the Ben Celine wheel, putting the proper spacers on the back, and now having to put four new tires on. Uh, I'm kind of done with taking the wheels off and on. It's getting redundant at this point, and I really don't think there's anything left I have to do where they would need to come off, at least right now, until I get into modifications that require the wheel to come off to get to something behind it. So I took the time to uh, clean them up a little bit more. They were pretty uh, grungy from when I was driving it previously and from them putting the new tires on. But I want to take the time to ceramic coat them. They came out pretty good. I mean, these wheels aren't perfect, but I like them a lot because just they're a little more rare than your run-of-the-mill um, replica Celine wheel. So I want to keep them looking nice and I want to run them as long as I can. But as far as the tires go, I think they're going to work out really well. It's got the new G2s on the front and the NTR, NT555R drag radials on the back. So I should get plenty of traction this summer once the weather warms up and I can take the car out again, which I hope it does soon because I really want to hit the car hard and see if it wheel hops with these tires as compared to the Continentals that were obviously past their uh, expiration date as far as good tires go. When I went down to look at the car, um, checking the date on the tires was the furthest thing from my mind. Uh, when I showed you guys the tires um, in, earlier in the video, and I looked at them down there, they looked as though the tread was good, that's all I was really concerned about. You really don't consider um, the date on tires because honestly, the Cobras I've had and cars in the past, I burned through tires so quick, especially rare tires, that the date code on them is never a thing. You assume they're always going to have fairly new tires on them, but that's just one thing to consider to keep you know in the back of your head when you go to look at a car or maybe your own car. If you haven't put tires on it yourself yet, when was the last time they're actually put on? It's one of those things that you know it's you really don't think about it too much until you start having issues like I was having, and then you got thinking, and it's like, well, maybe the tires are old, and in this case, they actually were. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave it a like. There's more Cobra stuff coming up, especially once the weather hopefully turns soon and stays good and I can go out and do some driving stuff and have some other videos planned for driving segments and stuff like that. So if you're new here, make sure to sub and if you made it this far, uh, please leave it a like. It really does help with the algorithm. But above all else, thanks for watching.